thanks for dropping in. This week's video is about a practical print in learning to use new tools to create more customizable designs. This is a calendar ring. I designed it because I am an absurdly forgetful person sometimes, most of the time. And it's not unusual for me to forget, for example, if I already gave a pet her medication. By attaching this low-tech ring to, say, a medication bottle, I have immediate access to a memory tool where and when I need it. I just advance the ring one notch per dose. So if I forget, I can check and see that I already had given a dose for that day. My initial designs had a little peek through window that would reveal what day or month or whatever label you wanted you were currently set on as you rotated top ring. The problem with this design is it's so tall that if you were to add it to a medication bottle, you'd be covering up the label, and that is a recipe for danger. So I ended up scrapping this design, going with something that was a much shorter profile. All the labels would be seen all at once, but a little indicator pointer would direct you to what the current set value is. At this point, I had been designing uh, the ring for a very specific medication bottle size. Uh, which is great and all, but if I'm going to share this design with other people and have it be useful at all, I would need to model dozens or hundreds of other sizes. And that's just ridiculous. So even though I've been avoiding it for months, I finally had a very specific reason to learn a new modeling program geared specifically for this situation. I'm referring to a program called OpenSCAD. Unlike other CAD computer-aided design software, OpenSCAD is primarily programming-based. Let's say you wanted to model a basic cylinder. In your typical CAD program, you'd probably just select a cylinder tool, click somewhere where you want the cylinder to be, draw its uh, diameter out, and then stretch it to whatever height you need. In OpenSCAD, you have to type in code that you want a cylinder and then you provide all those variables. And you can't just place that cylinder anywhere. You also need a code to specify where its position is. As you might have gathered, this can be a pretty tedious process to model something. And it's the main reason why I've avoided OpenSCAD up to now. But that tedium comes with a great strength by having the model generated in code, you could provide that code to a completely other person, and they can put in just a few little variables to alter the entire model to fit their own needs. So in this case, I created a model that asks for the bottle diameter. You can download the code for this file, specify the bottle diameter that you need, and it will go in and alter the model accordingly, creating it larger or smaller, and then allow you to spit out an STL file for printing. The files for this project, which I've shared on Thingiverse, has a whole load of customizations that you can set to it. Not only can you set the bottle diameter, you can determine the amount of spacing between this inner and outer part. It's a wider tolerance for easier printing. You can set a different height for this label area, or a different size for the font. You can tell it how many labels you have, and what those labels are. You can set whether or not those labels are embossed, raised, or inset, indented into the surface. You can also set whether the inner or outer rings are split for easier assembly. The project comes in two parts, an inner ring and an outer ring. You can print these either together at the same time or individually. I do recommend printing them separately because then you can have a color differentiation and also it's just a little bit easier to print. If you print them together, you may need to spend time uh, separating them a little bit and loosening the mechanism. As you can see, the inner ring has a little track to keep this ring on solid, and a bunch of little indents that act as click points so the ring doesn't slide too smoothly. You just 
add the outer ring onto the inner one like so. And that's it for the install. Even though I designed this for a very specific use case for myself, it could be useful in a lot of different situations. It's just nice to have a little physical reminder of something right when and where you need it to be. Much better than looking for a pen and pencil or wondering which reminder you put where on your cell phone. Over the last week of testing, this has actually turned out to be very helpful for me. And I figure someone else out there might have a use for it as well. Perhaps a use that I haven't even thought about. Well, until next week, thanks for stopping by.